Okay, this is going to be the first in our quick tips series, and the idea of this series is to be very quick, so the videos are quick and I can make them quick, and some of you know what I have going on in life right now, so it's busy, so um, yeah, we're trying to be quick. So I just wanted to show something that I often see. Now, this is not a hard and fast rule, but it's just something to pay attention to, to be aware of, to maybe make you a little more skeptical when you see breaks of structure. So in this example, we see this break of structure here. So that last low before the peak high, the low gets broken, price trades down and then quickly trades back up into our area. Then the order block that sponsored that move down to break the structure in this example gets traded through. Now in this example here, we see price trades down, break structure again but it spends a little bit of time below this area. There's a few candles close below this level and then price comes back up towards our level. And then this area supply is then respected. Now, like I say, this is not a hard and fast rule. This does not mean if price shoots down and then comes back up that we're definitely not going to respect the order block or the supply. That is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying in a lot of the examples I see where order blocks fail like this price didn't spend much time below here so often we can get confused in what is manipulation and what is actually a legitimate break of structure sometimes structure will break just to perform institutional objectives such as mitigating an order block or to come below the low grab liquidity fill in balance and then return in the general direction and make new highs so what I like to see is price to spend a little bit of time up below or above where the break of structure happened and then trade back into the order block that sponsored it. Again, this is not a hard and fast rule. This does not mean that you can never take an entry like this or you should always take an entry like this. It's just something to think about. When you see price break down impulsively and return very quickly, take a minute just to consider is this just performed some sell side objective or buy side objective? Has it just performed any institutional objective? Because if you can note that there has been a, in this case, a sell side objective accomplished, then when price gets back up to your supply area, you can be more certain of how you want to approach it, that you wish to wait for confirmations here, perhaps go to the lower timeframes and wait for some sort of confirmation in this zone, you know, so, you might get, and then you wait for the break there, wait for the retrace the break, and then, you know, get involved, whatever. Or you wait for some sort of Wyckoff distribution in this area. So that's how you can use this. Basically, just use this example to give yourself a moment to pause and think about what is happening. Whether you need further confirmations then when price returns, or you don't. That's not to suggest when this happens, you don't wait for confirmations here. But if you were going to take a risk entry and just set your limit order and this happens, you might want to decide not to set that limit order and perhaps wait for some confirmations there. But anyway, that's the end of the video. The idea is to be quick, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, comment down below and we'll try and get out a few more videos like this that are very quick, very easy to make, very easy to render, very easy to upload while I'm busy and got a lot to do and I can't make the longer videos. So yeah, until I catch you on the next one, trade smart, not often.